gang. What up, Smart Rapper Gang? Welcome to Clash. Shabon. Today we're talking about what the content tools are in rap. And you need to know these because you're going to use them in almost every song that you have. I'm Rob Level. This is Rap School, part of Smart Rapper, of course. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Tons of videos. They release every Saturday and Sunday on this channel. All right, we're going to get into this, and you're going to get smarter right after the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not have time to play. Number one, we're going to talk about imagery. This is the use of vivid language in order to create a picture or a movie in the mind of the listener. It's simply something where the listener can capture a mood or a picture in their mind when they're listening to the lyrics in the way that you deliver them and the words that you're using inside of them. This is also known as painting a picture with words. And the better you get at this, the more vivid you can make things. Like Biggie was really, really good at this. It's like because when somebody's listening, they're not just listening to lyrics, they're actually brought into the song and that's why it's so valuable to be able to use imagery as a content tool inside of your music swapping one word here and one word here can completely change the feeling and the imagery inside of a song now we're going to talk about similes metaphors and analogies these are all very similar in that they use examples for comparisons to make a point clearer. They all use examples in different ways. A clever punchline can convey a lot to a listener, even if it's just in a few words. First, similes. Similes are a way of directly comparing one thing to another by using the words like or as. Easy example, I turned her on like a light switch. Because a light switch can be turned on and a girl can be turned on, it's a simile because we also use like like a light switch. Metaphors resemble similes, except for they don't use like or as. That's the main difference. Instead, the thing that's being talked about is actually replaced with an example it's being compared to. With a metaphor, one thing is being used to represent another thing. Clever metaphors are a great way to make lyrics more descriptive and are very often very often used as a way to impress the listeners. Analogies. Analogies are basically an extended metaphor. The metaphor lasts longer and can cover an entire verse or even a whole song or even an album. A great example of this is uh, Tupac, uh, Me and My Girlfriend, where the whole song, you think he's talking about his girlfriend, Baby. but then you find out, oh, he's actually talking about his gun. You now he never says the whole song that he's actually talking about his gun, but you do get that as you start listening to the lyrics and realize what he actually is talking about. Making an entire song an analogy like this really shows you that you're good at your craft. And it also shows your intelligence because oftentimes a lot of rappers don't do songs like this or have the ability to do them. Another content tool we're gonna talk about is slang. You definitely probably use slang if you're a rapper already. Many, if not all rappers, Burn. use slang inside of their lyrics. New and interesting language like this helps make a song more colorful and also sound up to date. It helps the listener connect with the song and connect with the song as far as like the time and the place and the existence of the song as well because of the lingo and the slang that's being used. It also helps identify uh, different movements and different groups of people because maybe just those people use that type of slang. Gang! There's also different trends with slang and everything else like that because the language is consistently evolving. There's specific sh uh, Chicago rappers that use specific slang like for example, there's different slang for certain things, like uh, you could say a burner can mean two things. It can mean it can mean a gun that you throw away, or it can also mean, but then in certain places, like I come here, if I say burner here, they think I'm talking about a burner phone, but in Chicago, we used to call it a gun a burner. So like there's different slang in different places. You got New York, you got New York slang, you got California slang, you got, you know what I'm saying? You got Chicago slang, you got Atlanta slang, like police, police are called uh, certain things in certain places, like especially highly in Atlanta, uh, they're called 12, but in Chicago, we call them 5-0. But you know what I'm saying, like it's it just depends where you're at too. But slang also can help people know where you're from. You get what I'm saying? Now let's talk about vocabulary. Now obviously a rapper's vocabulary is consists of all the words that a rapper, he or she knows that they use in order to write their raps. It's recommended that you have the biggest vocabulary that you can possibly have because it's going to help you express yourself in the best way possible because you have more words to describe everything when you're writing your lyrics and writing your songs. The more words you know, the better that you'll be at writing your raps and everything else like that. So you should really learn as many words as possible. And this is exactly why I teach a word a day on my Instagram at Rob underscore level. I teach a word every day. And I also give away microphones for the people that do the best every single month and actually try to use the words in a sentence by simply responding to me. And I shout you out to whoever does the best word 
the day, that day, I shout you out at the end of the day to over 300,000 of my followers. So follow me, Rob underscore level. Do it. Your chance to win a microphone and get shouted out every day. Now, in order to expand your vocabulary, one, I recommend you, you go to uh, Merriam Webster, you do the word of the day there every day. But number two, again, like I'm saying, you should really follow me on Instagram. There's many, many reasons to do that because you're getting to learn a lot of stuff and you're also going to be able to learn these words, okay? So follow me, Rob underscore level. You want to expand your vocabulary as well as have it entertaining while you're doing it because you just read the, the word, you're like, nah, yeah. I try to explain to you in a very entertaining way because there's people who aren't even rappers that love my word of the days and they watch them every day. So follow me, Rob underscore level, and I'll put a link below for you. And shoot me a DM too, I might respond. Now this depends on your audience that you're trying to talk to. If you're trying to talk to an audience that doesn't really have a big vocabulary, well then you can dumb it down and you can use your words that aren't as intimidating to somebody who's not really you know super smart. So when you're writing a certain type of song, you can use smaller words. But if you have a larger vocabulary, when you're writing a more intelligent song, you can use bigger words and show off that, wow, oh, he's also smart. You ever heard a rapper say a word? You're like, how? Oh, you know that word? I didn't know he was smart. Because changing just a couple words in your vocabulary will actually make you appear a lot more intelligent. Now, using a dictionary or a thesaurus. A lot of artists, legendary artists, use dictionaries and thesauruses to write their lyrics. People usually think that it's, that, oh, that's cheating. No, it's not cheating, he's being smart because while you're using a dictionary with the source to write your lyrics, you're also learning other words. Even if you don't use them in the rap, you're learning what the word means while you're attempting to use it in the rap. So I have always recommended to people that you try to use rhyming dictionaries, dictionaries, and thesauruses while you're writing lyrics. It's actually one of the smarter moves that I wish I would have, would have been using from the beginning, but I used to feel like it was cheating and people would like say, oh, that's cheating. But then I realized people like Big Pun use them on like a daily basis. You can also look up a word in the dictionary at all times to make sure that you're using it properly when you're using it in your song. Don't you already do that anyway? If you want to use a word, you double check. Well, not, why not just use the dictionary in general? Because again, this is going to help you come up with more ways to express yourself. The more words you know, the better your music's going to be. All right, wordplay. Definitely a very powerful tool. Wordplay is simply playing with the words and their meaning and using language to speak in clever ways. A lot of wordplay plays off of double meanings of words and phrases. For many rappers, being good at wordplay comes from being a good English student, like being really good at the English language, as well as being really good poetically, okay? Being able to really floss and put those words together nice and neat. Now we're gonna talk about punchlines real quick. A punchline is a particularly strong phrase that hits the listener's ear when they hear it. It's a punchline. It can be something funny, an interesting simile or metaphor, clever wordplay, or anything that actually makes an impact when the listener hears it. They go, oh, it's a punchline because it punches you. I have an entire other video on how to write really, really dope punchlines. I'll put a link below for you. It's it's like a 10 minute video where I show you how to like go in and actually write punchlines. There you have it. Hit me with a like, hit me to subscribe. Which one of these tools do you use the most? Send me a comment below on that. Follow me on Instagram, okay? I'll put a link below for you. Rob underscore level on Instagram. Shoot me a DM, I'll probably respond. And you're gonna learn words every day. Remember, you get the chance to get shouted out every day simply by watching my story and then using the, the word that I give you every day in the best type of sentence is the best example. I'll shout you out to over 300,000 people. You can get a lot of followers from that if you get that shout out. Okay, get your name seen, all right? Follow me, Rob underscore level, it's easy. Just watch my story, it takes you one minute a day, come on. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Also, subscribe to the Smart Rapper channel. Keep hustling, gang, I'll see you at the top. Don't forget to check out my new single, Spray. And also, don't forget to watch my reality show that's on my Rob Level channel. I'll put all these links below. Keep hustling, gang, I'll see you at the top. Gang!